Hi, and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So let's wrap up where we've gone so far. So what we've been talking about are these regular languages, right? And what are these languages? Well, they're just the sets of strings that are recognized with certain different uh, models of computation. So the one we started off with, with are DFAs, which are the finite automata. And then we started talking about NFAs, which are just a non-deterministic version of a DFA, which can allow for multiple transitions and epsilon transitions and whatnot. And what we were able to show is that they are equivalent to each other, that I can uh, convert a DFA into an NFA because it already is one, and an NFA into an equivalent DFA, even if the DFA might be bigger, and using the power set construction. And we also talked about regular expressions. And these allow us to describe a language in a really formal way, um, using a string versus a machine where you have to feed the string in. And we saw that these were equivalent to each other. One, that we can convert an NFA into a regex. Uh, I shouldn't put an arrow here. NFA into a regex via the GNFA method, the generalized NFA method. And we can convert a regex into an NFA just by building up the NFA using small parts of the regex and then inductively building bigger pieces. So then you may be thinking, okay, well, every single model that we've ever talked about is the same. There's no model that's more powerful than what we've seen. So what we may want to ask then is, is there any non regular language L. So is there any non-regular language L? Well, if there is one, then there's obviously no DFA, no NFA, and no regex for it. Okay? So one thing that we should at least ponder, so we're not going to answer this question just yet, so let's actually try to ponder uh, what an answer to it might look like. So let's just say that for sake of argument here that we have a DFA. And let's just say that we started in the start state, of course, and then we took a bunch of transitions. And let's just say we eventually come to this state right here. Then we uh, take some more transitions. And then let's just say for sake of argument, we end up back at this state right here, this state right here. Then what does that tell us? So let's call this, uh, I don't know, state Q. So then this tells us that whatever input string we have right here, we uh, whatever the input string is, we end up back at state Q. But what does that actually tell us? Does that, we arrived at state Q for the second time, the DFA doesn't actually take note of this. So the DFA only records the state that you're in at a given time, and you can't revisit the past input string that you saw before. And in fact, this state right here, we lost all information that we've ever visited that state. So one um, observation that we can see is that once a state is left, uh, and by that I mean you visit it and then you uh, exit it, you go to a different state. Uh, no record of this is kept. Yeah, I shouldn't put it across on the T. So there's no record of this kept. So there's nothing really kept behind, in, so to speak, from the DFA reading an input string. And in fact, the NFA is the same idea and the regex is also the same idea. Uh, although you have to change it a little bit for regexes. But the, the idea is the same. That once you have gotten past a certain point, there's nothing to remember what you've done previously. And what does that really tell us here? Well, let's just say in our example over here that um, and I'm going to do this in red, 
that when we come to this state and then go out to here and come back, then let's just say we take a different route and eventually go to a final state and then accept at that point. Let's just say that that's the case. Maybe it isn't uh, the case for a particular string, but let's just assume for um, simplicity that we, we can do this. Oops. So what does this really tell us here? Well, this tells us that um, if we read the string that goes to this state right here and then takes this long path around, comes back to this state, and then take the, the rest of the string that takes us here via the red um, transitions here, then it's obviously accepted because, um, this, because we landed in a final state. But notice something interesting here. So suppose that we just said, I'm not going to go around the loop today. I'm going to just take the most direct path possible. Well, let's suppose that we read the string instead that takes us this way, that takes us this transition and then the red transitions. No loop at all. Well, that string is accepted too because no record is kept of whether I visited this state before. If there is a record of that kept, then uh, things might change. But there is no record of this kept. So, the shorter string is accepted too. But notice something even more important. What if I read a string that allows us to go around the loop twice, or three times, or four times, or more, then and then take the red transitions? Every single one of those is accepted too. So, um, if we, um, let's just say that we take uh, the first transition, and then we take the loop, oh, um, that particular loop, um, any number of times. We saw we can do that one, uh, zero times if we wanted to, but we can do it any number of times if we want. And then, and then take the red transitions. And then what does that tell us? That tells us that every string of this form is accepted. Okay. Why does this matter? Well, this allows us to figure out it doesn't help us answer the question yet of whether there's a non-regular language, but it tells us something interesting about a regular language in that if we look at a string that's sufficiently long that it forces a loop to occur, then what we can observe is through that loop part, we can just read a longer string and we can still accept. So this actually tells us a bunch of different strings that are also accepted once I have found a string that is accepted that does have a loop inside it. Okay, so if you found that interesting, put a comment uh, down below. There are plenty of links in the video description. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And as always, I'll see you next time.